All right, I think just a quick update number 13, I think it is. This is more just a what's got planned for the weekend. Got all my uh, six Duff shocks in. Um, talked to them. They got me set up with the right lengths that I needed. Ordered six. Same shock, both ends, four in the front, two in the rear. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. Obviously the truck, the color scheme, everything I'm going with here, the factory, uh, the white, and the blue decals and everything on their shocks. Just just a personal preference. Doesn't doesn't work for me. I ended up taking the shocks and peeled off their decal. And I had a buddy reproduce these for me in red, which will go with the truck. And then I took the shocks, and now they are, uh, I don't know, metallic, dark gray, I guess. So I think with the red decals on there, so there'll still be no question on whose parts I'm running on this. I gotta, I gotta represent. Duff has been taking care of me on this deal, so. I'm really liking all the stuff here, so that'll be cool once I get those on there and see how they'll all tie in with the rest of the truck. So that was pretty cool. And then speaking of Duff, um, picked up this Duff rear bumper from a very nice gentleman. Appreciate the deal on this. I'm uh, going to probably mount but these uh, eBay 2 inch by 7 inch LED lights they'll probably get mounted in there between the tubes somehow there's some backup lights controlled by my switch panel um, these things are like uh, 25 bucks or something they're bright as hell it should work just fine and uh, they end up being collateral damage for 25 bucks whatever um, got all the parts spindle mount and everything for the spare tire carrier. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, probably uh, spindle have to get mounted here whether I drill a hole and sink it through the tubes or I may end up kind of fish mouthing it and sinking the spindle into the face of it a little bit to get it away from the body. But uh, And then a filler panel there between the, that gap to cover up that just to, for cosmetic reasons anyway. But I'm digging it. it. looks pretty cool on there. I'm glad I, I'm glad I was able to work out a deal on that. Also, I've been doing a little parts hoarding. i got the uh, Aussie Locker for the Front 44. I'll be going in shortly. Buddy of mine hooked me up with these old school Spicer Lockouts. There's, uh, I've never seen nothing like them. There's nothing uh, aluminum or pot metal about them. These things are all steel, so kind of cool and uh, got these new uh, reproduction Ford dials will look a lot better than the faded pink ones that are on there right now so those will all be going at the same time just got to decide uh, it's going to go together with stock axle shafts for now or if I'm going to pick up some upgraded ones for it and finally um, as far as interior stuff Definitely got to have a nice sound system in this truck as much as it's going to get drove. So, um, like I already said, I got some uh, Pioneer three and a halfs I put in the dash. I'll be running those just off the radio power. And I made a quick order to Crutchfield, picked up some of these MTX three way 5x7s that will uh, MTX Terminator. These will go in the stock locations in the, the rear quarter panels there factory grills, grills over them. And then I found this uh, Soundstream, I don't know, they say 1000 watt amp, I don't know, but it's like, it's a three channel. So I can run uh, my subwoofer that's in my center console. I think this thing will put out, uh, what was it, 300 watts to one channel. And then it was, uh, the other two channels would be up to 100 watts uh, peak, like 50 RMS. So the RMS, I think it's like 150 and then 50 by 50. It's got built-in uh, high low pass filters and everything. and So uh, it's super small. I mean, compared to my hand, this thing is going to be super easy to package. And it was it was cheap. So 
kind of excited for that, see how this thing sounds. Hopefully it'll rock out pretty good going down the road. And last, I picked up these uh, pre-wired uh, two strips of four square LEDs, super bright. Um, like I said, there's eight total, two strips of four pre-wired with switches. They give you a two-sided tape. There's a hole in the center. You can use a screw through them to mount them. These are going to be the, uh, basically the rock lights underneath that'll just help with nighttime wheeling or loading on the trailer at night or whatever. Waterproof. Um, they're eight bucks. Um, hooking them up, they are stupid bright, even in the daylight. So, uh, seems that'll work pretty good underneath there for, uh, for that purpose anyway. Especially for eight bucks. Um, got the uh, shifter. Picked up the cover for the B&M Pro Stick. It's painted black, so it'll go better than the bare aluminum in the interior. Took the shifter. Got the shift gates modified in it to re remove the reverse lockout, so we don't have to deal with that stupid thing. And now the uh, the trigger handle there. Basically, with one movement, I can go from any forward gear straight to reverse, and it locks out park only. And then the same going the other way from reverse, I can just slam it back into a forward gear with one motion, pretty much. So, should I get myself in a situation off-roading where I need to back up quick or, or whatever, I can do that without having to fumble around with clicking levers and handles and all that crap. So, just going to make some kind of stand. Picked up some square tubing, some real small stuff. I'm going to build some kind of console here to flow into the dash and elevate the... The B&M shifter to match. It's so maybe a little bit higher than the transfer case shifter. It's going to be a little more comfortable from a strapped-in driving position. So that's about it. That's what I got going on right now. Got a four-day weekend coming up, and uh, we're going to wire the motor. We're going to throw the ECM in it, fuel system, and uh, start straightening out all the get all the gauges wired, switches wired, lights wired. Get this whole dash put together. I still got the Sirius radio I'm going to put in there. So uh, hopefully by uh, the Monday after Easter, hopefully this thing will actually drive out of the, the garage under its own power. Um, there is a front shaft in it, and on Monday I should receive my new Tom Woods rear drive shaft. I had them make me basically a custom length early Bronco shaft for this, 38 and a half inches long, double card joint. And uh, that should uh, take care of me there. So um, this weekend, probably be a bunch of a uh, bunch more videos and updates here. So until then.